welcome back everyone so today in this video i will be explaining that how to install windows 10 for absolutely free in 2023 so i will be explaining that how you have to download windows 10 iso how you have to create a bootable usb and how you have to install it step by step so without any delay let's quickly get started so first you will have to come to this website of microsoft i will leave the direct link in the description now once you come to this page you will find that there is no option of downloading the windows 10 iso so there is a simple trick that you have to apply on your google chrome click on the three dot at the right in top hover up to more tools and then from the suggestion click on developer tool now once the developer tool comes up again click on the three dot of developer tool hover up to more tools and choose network conditions then at the very bottom you will find the user agent option uncheck it that says use browser default and then from the drop down you have to select to chrome chrome os once done you have to reload the page and now you can close the developer tool now this time when you scroll down you will find the iso option over here so click on select addition click windows 10 multi addition iso click on confirm Choose the product language, click on confirm and then here you have to select 64 bit or 32 bit download. So once you have selected you have to click on it and the downloading will now be started. So now it's around 5.7 gigabytes, so it will take some time so you will have to wait and once it's been downloaded you will have to come to another website that's Rufus that's a very powerful tool with amazing feature that help you to do a lot of tasks so once you come up here you have to scroll down again and click on the first link that says rufus 4.3.exe again the downloading will be started once it get downloaded you have to click on the downloaded file click on yes and this kind of page will now be coming up now here on the very top you will find the device option so you have to select the right usb pen drive that you want to make the bootable usb so on my end i want to make this sandisk 32 gigabyte as a pen drive as a bootable usb so i will select it then below in the boot selection you have to locate to the windows 10 iso that you have downloaded so you click on select then locate to the location where you have downloaded select it and then click on open so once you have selected everything will be loaded automatically now in the volume label what you can do you can delete all these things and name it as like windows 10 bootable usb and that's it now you have to click on the start and now it will give you some option like you want to create a local account so it will automatically create a local account so we can uncheck this option if you want to check you can check it because i will be showing you step by step how you have to do this okay then you have to click on okay and then it will give you a warning that all the data on the device will be de destroyed so make sure that if you have any kind of data on your pen drive you take the data backup first and then start the process so once you are confirmed you have to click on okay and the process will now be started now here you have to keep some patience because this may take about like 10 to 15 minutes maybe less or more so wait until the all the process is being completed all right so finally our windows 10 bootable usb has been created now so you will have to click on close and now you need to take out the usb from this computer and you will have to connect the usb to that particular computer where you want to install the windows 10 so let me quickly connect it so once you have connected the usb you will have to start the computer in the bios mode so that you can change the boot priority order now depending on different kind of laptop different kind of pc motherboard the bio system can be different but you will have to use a different bios key like f2 f10 delete or escape so once you enter the bios you will have to look for the boot priority boot sequence and then you have to boot with that particular usb that you have made bootable usb 
I'm using a virtual machine for the explanation. So I will select USB device. And now my computer will be booting up with Windows 10. Okay, and very soon the installation page will be up and then I will show you that how you have to install it. So you will be getting this kind of page of Windows 10. Here you have to choose the language and the currency format. Then you have to click on next and click on install now. So the setup will be started. Now here you have to enter the product key. So if you have, then you can enter it. But if you do not have, then I will share the generic Windows product key. Uh, you can enter that product key and then click on. I don't have a product key because that you can do it later. So now here it will ask you the addition. So I would recommend you to go with Windows 10 Pro. So select it. Click on next. Check the agreement box. Click on next. Then click on custom. Now it will ask you that on which partition, on which drive you want to install the Windows 10. If you already have any kind of Windows before than that and you don't need it, then you need to select it and then you have to delete it. But I want a fresh installation, so I will select it, then I will click on delete. I will select the other one as well and delete all of them. Once I have deleted, I have the unallocated space. I will select it and then click on next. So now the installation will be started. So you will have to wait here. It may take some time. And once it will be done, I will let you know what you have to do next. Okay, here it goes. So finally, the Windows 10 has been installed now. And it's all good to go. You can go ahead and enjoy all the feature of Windows 10. So that's all guys for today hopefully you found this video helpful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye